The biggest misconception though um, that I have, and I think a lot of people are gonna learn it the hard way, is a lot of people feel if a bank is willing to give me X amount of debt on a property, What do you think is the 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 uh, the worst advice you've you've ever received? Because I know there's a lot of noise out there you've ever heard of. Uh, uh, what do, what do you think is we, we talk about the quick wins a little bit mm-hmm. or or get rich quick whatever? What yeah. are your what do you think is out there? And maybe specifically because I think you're doing a fantastic job of covering so many thank individuals you, dude, in your, you. your your space. So what's you the biggest too, misconception? Thank you, man. What, what do you think that is that you even heard from maybe a guru and you're like, yeah, I don't know. So I don't have the, I think it's not the, I'm going to go two ways. So there's the biggest misconception, which I think is more important. And the worst piece of advice is that bigger is always better. I don't think that's true at all. Um, Which you hear a lot of people talk about, whether it's Grant Cardone or, you know, a ton of other guys that are, you know, selling courses or things like that. Bigger is not always better. It depends on what you're looking to accomplish. Everything literally in this business comes back to pros and cons, risk reward, and your personal appetite. There is no, there is no wrong way to do this business. There's no right way to do this business. It all comes back to what you want to accomplish and understanding which vehicle best fits for you and understanding also that you're not going to know until you start trying it. And that's why, you know, it took me from flipping to tax deeds, to small multifamily, to large multifamily to figure it out. Um, the biggest misconception though, um, that I have, and I think a lot of people are going to learn it the hard way is a lot of people feel if a bank is willing to give me X amount of debt on a property, why wouldn't I take the maximum amount? And I think that's a recipe for disaster because just because some moron at a bank thinks a loan is safe doesn't mean your property can support that loan if something happens or something you overlooked happens. And we just look at 2008 and it's the perfect example, but I've been fighting that battle and that misconception for two, two and a half years of people saying, well, if I can get you know, 80% on a property, why wouldn't I take it? If I can get 90% on a property, why wouldn't I take it? Because if you miss one month of rent, you're screwed or and, and- your CapEx isn't high enough or your expenses are too low. Um, you know, There is a such thing as over leveraging a property. And I don't think enough people give credit to the risk associated with deals and how the risk weighs up against the reward.